So the next part of this uh, webinar talks about get and set checkpoints. As we spoke about earlier, these two are not always necessary. It depends on the implementation of the interview in OPA. But um, as you'll see, they're a functionality that is quite often very useful. So um, we'll go straight to the point. Um, these are two more web service methods, actions. Um, and we need to do some fixing of the standard objects and we need to add some more uh, metadata. Anyway, so unlike all the methods we've spoken about so far, both of these require modifications that are not in the zip file. Uh, they require Siebel data model uh, changes. Let me be more specific. Um, they use tables that were present and were part of the connector for version 10. Uh, so if you're upgrading from version 10 to version 12, then the chances are you have these tables already. However, in our case, we're going straight in and in de deploying this on Siebel IP16 with no version 10 ever present. Um, the file, the tables you need will not be present. So you can either install the uh, connector in for version 10 and uh, not use it, but simply uh, use the fact that the tables were created by the installer. Um, or you could unzip the zip file and look inside the zip files and look for um, the relevant tables um, in a zip file whose name is on screen right now. The table uh, is actually S underscore uh, decision point. I'm, I'm giving you the real English version as opposed to S underscore DCSN underscore uh, RPT or something like that. Anyway, so uh, this method, set checkpoint, will store a snapshot of the interview in that table. It'll be stored as a base64 encoded string, and you will give it an identifier, session ID, if you will. Um, and then when you call the interview to resume it, you will need to give that same identifier, and you will return to the interview at the point of the last checkpoint. Um, so. For those of you who are not that familiar with OPA, when you run an interview, you run it with something we a command we call start session. So when you start a session, that's a new interview. And now we're saying there's also a resume session. Um, so if you're going to implement this in Siebel, uh, you might need to think about how you let the user resume a session. How do you let the user uh, review the list of saved sessions and pick one to resume it? Anyway. So this uses a business component, a business object, and a table and columns that will only be in your database if you've already come from the OPA 10 Siebel connector. Uh, we, in the video, we talk about the minimum you would need to make it work if you were Im implementing this directly into Siebel 16 without any OPA 10. So the data is stored in a table in the schema. And um, there it is up there. I can even read it just about PA underscore DCSN underscore RPT. Um, it will not exist unless you created it. Um, it's important to realize that when a designer designs an interview in OPA, they don't have to design checkpoints. It's, it's a feature which has to be made available in a connection. Uh, you'll see on the screenshot here that there is a large uh, encoded string is the only record in this table. And well, guess what? That's a saved session. So get checkpoint, as its name suggests, means go to that table and retrieve its uh, encoded string and open up the interview again, ready to continue from wherever it was saved. Um, so resume session instead of start session. As you can see in the screenshot there, um, a designer 
can choose when to implement checkpoints. So you can see that in this case, the checkpoints could be disabled or could be after submit or after every screen or after any particular screen that you choose. Um, the, the, the availability of this feature depends on the connection. So your connection to Siebel has to support checkpoints for the designer to be able to do this. Uh, if you're interested, there's essentially one extra XML tag that goes into the definition of the connection to say, yes, I support checkpoints. And as standard, if I'm not going crazy, the uh, zip file for the white paper, um, the definitions include that extra tag in the integration objects in question. So, um, basically, the designer has to uh, configure this in the interview for it to work. Um, Notice the point at the bottom. Checkpoints do not have to be accompanied by any Siebel data being saved into real Siebel tables and real Siebel fields. This has nothing to do with load and submit. This is essentially a pause and resume feature that is independent of load and submit. So as usual, we've got a video coming up that will explain how to set up the metadata, how to implement the example workflow process and any changes you might need to make, um, and then how to test it. Uh, unlike most of these, uh, it's going to be easier to test this with an Oracle policy automation project, and it just so happens that um, there is a sample one you can use.